Is it true this program was brought to you by WA's most trusted car dealer, John Hughes? Absolutely. Welcome to Zoom TV, internationally famous, now on the internet, all around the world. It's just sensational. The program where we concentrate on everything that drives, floats or flies. Today, I hope you're ready for a huge show because we've got a massive one locked in for you today. Do we? We do. Well, we better get on with it. Let's, Let's go. go. On today's show, I visit the beautiful West Australian Maritime Museum, show you how to get more torque out of your car, look at a people move with a difference, and Alan looks at an award-winning Toyota service centre. But first up, Aaron Pitt. I've heard of that guy. Full head of hair, <laughs> sort of thing. Good. Yeah. With a really sensational ute. Let's get into it. Nothing is more Australian than the ute. And I believe in an effort to hang on to some Australian heritage, its evolution has been slow. But finally, manufacturers have taken the plunge and created a new generation of workhorses. This is the all new FG Falcon Ute, and it's fast becoming the must have for tradies. Ford recently upgraded their entire range and came up with the FG Falcon Ute. It's practical, versatile, and really easy on the eye. From the front to the rear, the Ford is flush and flowing. The well body, or as named by Ford, the style side box rear, no longer looks like an afterthought. Its stance is noticeably longer and wider, giving it a more intimidating profile and sense of arrogance. No matter the job, Ford have the workhorse for you. Ford can carry up to 1.2 tonne and tow 2,300 kilos. Wow. But it's the inside that Ford have invested in. Sheer comfort for easy handling. Its longer and wider stance gives it a much more improved ride and road presence, practically gluing the ute to the road. Its interior is slick to say the least. The seats are firm and body hugging and very comfortable. And again, the noticeable symmetry of technology and improved interior layout will impress even the toughest critic. The FG ute has also received some high tech improvements like Ford's human machine interface that I introduced you to a few weeks ago with the G6e. Put simply, it's an interior command centre that lets you personalise everything to each individual driver and it remembers it all. This workhorse comes with climate control air conditioning, power windows, automatic headlights, steering mounted controls for your audio and cruise control, remote keyless entry with safety features including dual airbags, electric brake distribution, driver fatigue warning and ABS braking. Under the bonnet, Ford have made massive advances and fitted the ute with an upgraded engine, added a state-of-the-art gearbox and upgraded the front suspension, achieving a much better fuel economy and overall ride. The new 4-litre double overhead cam 6-cylinder petrol engine is powerful, producing 195 kilowatts of power and 391 newton metres of torque. The usual three-year, 100,000-kilometre new car warranty applies and you get one-year roadside assist and has a four-star ANCAP safety rating. The FG has alloys and is available in a six-speed manual or five-speed automatic. Ford have delivered the perfect workmate, but best of all, it comes standard with the roomy space cap. And there's the flexible option of cab chassis and of course, the sporty XR range. test drive the new range of FG Utes, get down to the award-winning John Hughes Park Ford in Bentley. Well, we've been to a museum about things that drive and another about things that fly. So today, we thought we'd look at a museum about things that float. Today, I'm visiting the WA Maritime Museum, which I believe is one of Australia's best. It's home to big boats, little boats, and of course, Australia's most famous, the winner of the America's Cup, Australia 2. The Maritime Museum of WA is located on a Victoria Quay, Fremantle. The building looks out towards the Indian Ocean. The development of the museum is a WA state government initiative. 
The site for the museum was chosen because of its great historical and cultural significance and its position in a working port, making it the ideal place to tell the maritime stories of WA's Aboriginal peoples, early explorers, trade routes, naval defence, migration and the cultural richness that has resulted. The museum looks at the past and our future as a community living on the edge of the Indian Ocean. It importantly houses historic memorabilia from WA's sporting and adventure heritage. The entrance gallery of the museum is beautifully decorated and themed. It houses many beautiful exhibitions and artefacts that help tell the stories of our maritime past and present. The museum has been broken down into five exhibitions and will take a good two hours to explore. You can walk through most of the museum alone or to get a better insight, you can join a group tour. Kylie, thanks for having us at the museum today, but how did it all come about? Well, the WA Maritime Museum opened in December 2002 and it was built to house West Australians' maritime heritage. Now, what are some of the um, popular exhibits? Uh, the submarine we have, the Oberon class um, oven submarine out the side there, that's very popular. Mm -hmm. Also the Australia 2, the America's Cup winner, mm -hmm. and the Welcome Walls out the front. It's okay. been hugely popular. And the Welcome Walls are getting bigger soon, I hear? Yeah, when they're finished at the end of this year, we will have over 45,000 migrants represented on the Welcome Walls out the front. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, fantastic. The museum has six themed galleries. The Indian Ocean, which tells the story of human endeavour that provides context for telling WA's maritime history. Tin Canoe to Australia Too, which focuses on the adventures of people challenging nature and themselves, and features Australia Too, the yacht with the wing keel that won the America's Cup in 1983. Then there is Fremantle and the Swan River, which explores the development of Fremantle and the Swan River area. The very popular Hooked on Fishing Gallery looks at many different cultures that led to the thriving WA fishing industry. The Maritime Trade and Cargoes Gallery looks at the movement of people and resources across the geographical and political boundaries. Finally, there is the Naval Defence Exhibit, which explores the development of the Navy and its role in protecting people, trade and, of course, territory. Now, I think you would agree the museum is absolutely amazing. So stick around because later in the show we'll explore even more of the WA Maritime Museum. The term bigger is better is no longer the case when it comes to cars. More and more people are conscious of being greener and more economical in what they drive. And you could assume to achieve better economy and be greener, you'd have to make some big sacrifices. Well, you don't. This is the all-new SX i30 diesel. It's award-winning, it looks great, it averages an amazing six litres of diesel per 100 kilometres. It's jammed full of safety features and comes in a huge variety of options, including the all-new crossover wagon. To be honest, it all sounds a little too good to be true. So let's take a closer look. The SX CRDI hatch is very stylish. Outside you get body coloured bumpers and mirrors, a bit of chrome, re-mounted beasting aerial and sporty 15 inch wheel covers. On the inside you get a sporty stylish finish with cool blue illuminated instrument cluster, CD with MP3, an auxiliary for your iPod, electric windows and knit cloth seats which are more than comfortable. By combining popular European design with its DNA, Hyundai have created an affordable small car with heaps of attitude. It's actually hard to believe you're in a small car. The interior is just so well designed and spaced out. The overall drive is comfortable and very rewarding. More importantly, the i30 is packed with safety features including driver and passenger airbags, electronic stability program, ABS braking and traction control. It's also jammed with innovations like this glove box cooling system that'll keep your drinks cool on those long drives. And with the amazing range of the diesel i30, there'll be a lot of long drives. It has the capacity to average over 1,000 kilometres on just one tank. For a small car, the little diesel packs a lot of poke. It's very firm on the road and there's not that engine noise that you'd expect from a diesel. It's actually a very impressive drive. The four-cylinder twin overhead cam, 1.6 litre inline direct injection turbo diesel engine produces 85 kilowatts of power and even more impressive, an amazing 255 newton metres of torque. 
comes of course with the Hyundai's Australian first five year unlimited kilometre new car warranty and three year roadside assist, has a four star ANCAP safety rating, is available in either a five speed manual or four speed automatic. With amazing fuel economy, the entry level SX CRDI in metallic paint is value at just $24,820 drive away. The SX CRDI is such a cool car. It's jammed full of features and it's unbelievably economical. But the best part is by driving one, you're reducing damage caused to our environment without compromising a thing. To test drive the new SX diesel CRDI hatch or wagon, get down to John Hughes Hyundai in Vic Park. So you've got a turbo in your car and it's working correctly, but you still want to get that little bit more out of it. Is there anything more you can do to do that? Well, the answer is yes. You can add a more appropriate exhaust system, which will rapidly increase its power and economy. United Fuel Injection can check you have the best exhaust system on your vehicle, and if you don't, they can install the best for you at their Red Clip workshop. The wrong exhaust system will rob your vehicle of power and performance and will stop it from reaching its potential or worse, cause mechanical problems. The experienced team at United Fuel Injection can quickly and simply tell you if you have the right exhaust system for your car. And if you don't, not a problem. They can fit the right one for you. So if you want to reach the potential of your vehicle, drop down and see the experienced team at United Fuel Injection. You can find out more about United Fuel Injection and the different ways they can improve your vehicle at zoomtv.com.au. Well, it definitely looks like I need a top up. And if you're driving a new car, the chances are it requires a certain engine oil. And you're going to find that engine oil at your local mails. New cars these days require low viscosity, or put simply, thin oil. Because modern engines these days are so advanced, to lubricate properly, increase fuel efficiency and reduce emissions, only advanced oils will do. So to get the best oils and other self-servicing products for your car, drop into your local mills. They have four convenient locations across Perth. You can pick a people mover a mile away. Generally, they all look the same, which is normally a smaller version of a bus. Obviously, it makes sense because the good old bus design allows you to capitalise on space and passenger capacity. But some people, they're just looking for more room or more height, not necessarily looking for more passenger capacity. And I guarantee those people, they don't want to drive a bus. So if you use your vehicle to transport someone that needs a little bit extra height, say someone in a wheelchair, then you're going to love Volkswagen's Caddy Life. The Caddy Life sees Volkswagen stray from the normal people mover design. However, it still has room for up to seven. The front is very car-like and the back more your normal people mover design. The smart design of the rear of the Caddy Life gives you more room and it definitely maximises height. The best thing is, with the extra height, the Caddy Life is a great vehicle to fit with a wheelchair transportation conversion. This Caddy Life has been built to transport people whilst they're in their wheelchairs. It's been done by John Hughes Volkswagen and is what they call a mobility conversion. The great thing about buying a Caddy Life and converting it is it's much easier than a large van to drive and the obvious saving in size reflects a saving in running costs. It's also easier to drive and park. With the John Hughes Caddy Life Mobility Conversion, the front row of seats remain, which is great because it means you can transport four additional passengers plus the wheelchair. The Caddy Life would normally seat up to seven. However, if you're interested in the Mobility Conversion, the guys at John Hughes can arrange it for you. The Caddy Life is available in a 1.9 litre turbo diesel and in either a 5 speed manual or 6 speed DSG automatic. You also get climate control, cruise control, surround sound stereo, power steering and electric windows. 
the Caddy comes with a three year, 100,000 kilometre warranty and one year roadside assistance. One of the great features of the Caddy Life is the easy access to the rear cabin. It comes with dual side sliding rear doors and a tilt up rear door which gives you a much wider opening. On the inside of the Caddy it's very stylish and comfortable. It's very ergonomically well designed with everything within arm's reach. The driver's seat is fully adjustable including height and the steering wheel is also fully adjustable. There is practical storage spaces for large and small items including drink holders throughout the vehicle. The great thing about the Caddy Life is it allows you to transport people in wheelchairs comfortably and safely in what is best described as a family vehicle. To get pricing details including the mobility conversion, get into John Hughes Volkswagen in Vic Park or to find out more go to zoomtv.com.au We pretty well know by now that if you're looking for a new or pre-owned Toyota, then this is the place to come. City Toyota, Adelaide Terrace, Perth and Stirling Highway, Netherlands. And once you've found your fabulous new Toyota, you're going to want to keep it in A1 condition with the best servicing available. And that's all expertly taken care of here at City Toyota Service Departments, Aberdeen Street, Northbridge and of course Stirling Highway in Netherlands. At City Toyota, they understand that purchasing your car is one of the biggest decisions you'll ever make. They also realise you expect the best service for that car. At City Toyota, that's exactly what you get. They're proud of being the best service department in WA for the last four years. With service you can trust, your car is in the best of hands at City Toyota. City Toyota has been announced National Dealer of the Year for the second consecutive year. This incredible success is obvious throughout their entire operation, but nowhere more so than here in the service department. The awards that City Toyota have received only come from great customer support and staff that believe in the customer. With this obvious commitment to customer service, City Toyota is Perth's most rapidly growing Toyota dealership. They believe in delivering value for money, excellence in after-sale service and a deep commitment to their clients. So when you trust your car to City Toyota's service department, you know you're in good hands. Service Operations Manager is Tori Mancuso. Hey, Tori, how are you going? Hey, Alan, how are you today? Good, thanks, mate. So how do you become the number one service department in the whole of Australia? Well, it's all about our people. Uh, we've got a dedicated staff and we put a lot of training to those people sure. to get the results we need. And just walk me through the process, mate. What happens when I, when I check in with my car? Well, when you come in, the guy's up there waiting for you. They meet and greet you. And they, we take all your details. We look at the car with you. We look at your tyres. And then from there, the paperwork goes through to the workshop and the, the car gets moved to a, a dedicated bay or into a workshop bay and we get worked on by the technicians. And you actually get to meet some of the guys who are working on your car, don't you? You do sometimes, yes. Especially if you've got a special noise or something you need a road test or a bit of one-on-one -on -one attention, we'll get the guy to walk with you or drive with you and see what the problem is. And I notice there are some lovely little add-ons, some extras that you provide here in the service department as well, yeah? yeah? And we've got a nice comfortable lounge up there. You have a coffee, read the paper, watch a bit of TV. Uh, we have a courtesy bus service into the city, into the metro area. We also do Saturday mornings, uh, 8, 8 to 12. And I hear you're going to uh, wash and vacuum their car. We do wash and vacuum every car, gets <laughs> service, it's a free wash and vacuum. Excellent. And it makes it look like new. Beautiful. Along with all the national awards, City Toyota is proud of being awarded the best service department in WA for the last four years. With service you can trust, your car is in the best hands at City Toyota. And with the service advantage guarantee, you'll know that their rates are more than competitive. You'll even have the full list of charges up front before you book in. That's service. The service department is open Monday to Friday from 7.15am to 5.15pm. Saturdays from 8am until noon. 165 Aberdeen Street, Northbridge and 199 Stirling Highway, Netherlands. And how's this? Express maintenance. Drop your car in, have a coffee, read the paper. One hour later, your car's fit, ready to go, fully serviced, and you're on the road. Now that's express maintenance. 
Book your car in for a full service online at www.citytoyota.net.au. So your car's broken down. You're not really sure what the problem is, but you're pretty sure it is the fuel system. So what do you do? Well, I recommend you call the professionals, United Fuel Injection. United Fuel Injection have been in the business for more than 30 years. There's nothing that they don't know about fuel injection. However, if there is something that stumps them, they have the right gear to back them up. They'll hook their mobile diagnostic equipment up to your vehicle and find the problem in no time. First thing we would have a look at is the basics fuel filters, battery connections, battery power, things like that. Then we'd go around and plug the unit in. Check the fault codes, straight away we'll be able to tell you what fault code it's got and what it relates to. After that we can then call in a tow truck mm -hmm. and get you towed back to our shop where we can give you within a very short space of time, a very accurate quote of what your vehicle will cost to okay. be repaired. The best thing about United Fuel Injection is they really do care. They won't just help you find the problem, they'll provide you with a clear explanation of the problem and then give you the best advice to fix the problem, including a full written quotation. So remember, if you've got a problem with your diesel, go straight to the professionals at United Fuel Injection. You can find out more at zoomtv.com.au. Welcome back to the beautiful WA Maritime Museum. Now I think you would agree that its home within a work in port helps to better set the scene and educate visitors on our rich maritime past. The best thing is the museum isn't just a place you can visit, it also provides exhibition spaces, after hours facilities, educational and administration offices and workshops to expand and complement its existing museum facilities. The museum is in the first stage of redevelopment of Victoria Quay and provides the waterfront with a civic focus. Its unique design is the perfect home to house some of the most amazing maritime exhibitions and memorabilia. Kylie, it looks like someone parked a submarine here. How did this get here? Well, the Oberon class submarine that we have here was gifted by the Commonwealth Government after it was decommissioned in 1997 and the tours have been hugely popular since then. So people can come to the museum and tour through the uh, submarine? Absolutely. We do tours from 10 o'clock in the morning until 3.30 in the afternoon and all the tours are run by some fantastic submarine guides. Most of them are ex-submariners which is, makes a wonderful tour. So they really know their stuff about the submarine? Absolutely. All the inside information. The museum has done a great job restoring and displaying marine exhibits, but what really helps you connect with it is its location and of course this amazing purpose-built facility. The WA Maritime Museum maintains an active exhibition program focused around its permanent installations. However, the permanent exhibitions are supplemented with temporary displays and exhibitions generated from the museum's own research and collections. Make sure you log on to the Maritime's website to keep up to date with the changing exhibits. One of the most popular exhibits is the HMAS Ovens, which is a former Royal Australian Navy Oberon class submarine. It is a major iconic object and attraction for the West Australian Maritime Museum. The museum offers a special guided tour through the submarine that will give you an idea what it would have been like to serve in a Cold War vessel. So if you want to have a great day out, get down to Fremantle and visit the Western Australian Maritime Museum. The museum is open every day except Wednesday, 9.30 to 5pm. Admission is $3 for children and $10 for adults. Concession and family passes are available. Access to the submarine is additional. To find out more, go to zoomtv.com.au. And now we're done. We are. And if you'd like to know more info from today's show, log on to our website, zoomtv.com.au. There, apparently you'll find details of the products and services we've mentioned on today's show. There's competitions, there are links, photos of this guy. And, and you can even become a Zoom member or what Aaron calls, and I don't know why, a, a Zoomaholic. A Zoomaholic. Can you believe it? Oh. And don't forget, if you have a great car, <laughs> boat or bike, we would like to know about it. Send us an email and you never know, you and it could feature on a coming show.
Cheers. Bye for now. Bye. Is it true this program was brought to you by WA's most trusted car dealer, John Hughes? Absolutely.